So you want to lose fat and you are willing to push yourself. How much progress can you expect in a week? This is a common question I receive and typically the goal is to lose as much fat as possible on a weekly basis. But it is good to remember that burning fat faster is not always a good thing. Do you just want to lose fat without caring about muscle or do you want to get leaner while having good muscle development? Because you see, your rate of fat loss directly impacts your ability to maintain muscle. In a 2011 study, one group had a target of losing 0.7% of their body weight per week, while the other group had an aggressive goal of 1.4% body weight loss per week. The group losing 1.4% of their body weight per week lost fat at a faster pace, but they also lost muscle and had much slower strength gains compared to the group losing only 0.7% of their body weight per week. Meaning, if you care about getting lean while having good muscle definition, losing fat at a fast pace can harm your progress. The last thing you want is to push yourself in the gym to build up your muscles, only to then lose that muscle while in a calorie deficit. Muscle maintenance is not just important for looking in shape, but your long-term fat loss progress also depends on it. Individuals that want to lose fat fast often have a similar story. They lose an impressive amount of weight in just a month or two, and after a couple of months or sometimes weeks, they start gaining it all back. A common reason for this is not considering the important role muscle has in your fat loss process. Based on the 2020 study, losing muscle while in a calorie deficit results in higher levels of appetite and a higher risk of weight regain. This is because muscle is metabolically active tissue. Your body burns more calories at rest if you hold more muscle mass and you also burn more calories during training. When you lose muscle mass, your daily calorie burn decreases, while your desire to eat goes up, creating a recipe for weight regain. Therefore, let's not be too narrow focused on how fast you can lose fat. Your fat loss rate should consider your ability to maintain muscle. Now, to get specific about how much fat you can expect to lose in one week, I like to refer to a 2017 research review about nutrition and body composition. For most people, losing between 0.5 to 1% of your total body weight per week is a reasonable target that allows you to lose fat at a good pace while still maintaining muscle and strength. So if someone is 200 pounds, a good target is to lose between 1 to 2 pounds per week. Can you lose fat faster? Yes, but it's at the risk of increased muscle loss. If we run the numbers, you can start seeing why losing much more than 1% of your body weight on a weekly basis is challenging. A common statement is that 1 pound of fat contains 3500 calories. Based on the scientific literature, this is not 100% accurate, but it is still a useful general guideline. Essentially, to lose one pound of fat in one week, we need to create a 500 calorie deficit daily. If we want to lose two pounds of fat in one week, we need to create a 1000 calorie deficit. And if we want to lose three pounds of fat in a week, we need a 1500 calorie deficit. You get the idea here. Considering the average male burns 2500 calories per day and the average female burns 2000 calories, losing a lot more than two pounds per week is tough for the majority of people. If you burn 2500 calories per day and want to lose three pounds of fat in a week, a calorie deficit of 1500 leaves you just 1000 calories to consume daily. If you train, need to concentrate for work, spend time with family, and basically have a life, eating 1000 calories per day is not sustainable. Not to mention that you will experience muscle loss, high hunger levels, and metabolic adaptations that will slow down your natural calorie burn, making it harder to lose more fat in the future. So if you have one major takeaway from today's video, it is that most people can benefit from having a weekly fat loss rate of between 0.5 to 1% of your body weight per week. The more fat you have to lose, the more you can move towards 1% weekly body weight loss. While if you already are relatively lean, losing more towards 0.5% per week is a good aim. With that said, there will always be exceptions in which losing fat at a faster pace can still work well. A good example of this is a 2016 study. 20 overweight volunteers maintained a more aggressive calorie deficit and lost around 3 pounds of their body weight per week. The participants were able to maintain muscle just fine. In the case of someone being overweight or obese, the body has more fat to lose so there is an opportunity to lose fat faster. Let's say up to 1.5% of your body weight per week. This is because someone that is overweight typically also burns more calories in a day. Someone that is overweight and taller in length can easily burn 3000 calories per day when they also start exercising, because this person expends more energy while moving. In this case, theoretically you can set the calorie target at around 1800 calories per day and lose fat faster without risking significant muscle loss. So there are scenarios in which losing 3 pounds of fat per week is possible, but only in the beginning stages of your fat loss phase. Once you get over the initial phase of fast fat loss, a slower fat loss rate is needed to ensure muscle maintenance. My online coaching client, Zakaria, went through a similar process. When we started the fat loss phase, Zakaria was able to lose fat at a faster pace and maintain a more aggressive calorie deficit. But as Zakaria was getting leaner, we had to slow down our rate of fat loss to make sure he was still able to maintain muscle. 
so we incorporated more diet breaks and changed our calorie target to keep the fat loss process sustainable. Now, about eight months later, we have a fantastic result and fitness has become a part of Zakaria's lifestyle. The key to this success was that our approach adapted based on Zakaria's progress and we always stayed realistic with our methods. I want the same for you. When you think about your fat loss goals, try to think in terms of months, not just a couple of weeks. Also, as a bonus tip, do not get too obsessed with the weight loss outcome. The reason Zakaria had such great progress is that we set up an approach that we know produces progress and we were able to fully focus on taking action. If you hit your calories, reach your protein goal and train consistently, you should not obsess about your skill weight. Your weight will move up and down daily for many reasons. So if you are fixated on your weight, you are more likely to get discouraged for no good reason. It is normal for your weight to go up even after several days of you doing everything right and having perfect consistency. Something as simple as having a high sodium meal or no bowel movement that morning can cause one to two pounds of a weight jump. This should not phase you. Celebrate staying consistent in the process. Fat loss results are a byproduct of your training and nutrition, but the results are not immediate. There is a delay between effort and results. Continue taking action and trust that the results will show with time. If you struggle with setting up your own fat loss phase or feel like you are in a plateau, I can help you out. Apply to my one-on-one -on -one online coaching service in which I personally advise you about how to reach your fitness goals. Hundreds of people have achieved amazing results before you. You can apply by visiting the link in my description. And that was all for today's video. I hope you now have a better idea of how fast you can expect to lose body fat. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, if you found this video helpful, then leave me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And I will see you in the next one.